how do I discuss Iron Man? It's quite difficult, or it feels difficult, to discuss this as a review because I know that many, many film fans are massive Marvel fans and anything I say may just sound weird and amateurish, which I get. But the truth is, I've never been the biggest Marvel fan. I've seen five or six Marvel films. From what I've seen, I've kind of enjoyed, but they've never really been for me. I decided to start watching Marvel, and for reference, I'm going to watch them in order of release the way every Marvel fan would have to have done, of course. And that's starting with the 2008 Iron Man, directed by John Favreau, uh, written by Mark Fergus, Hawk Osby, and Art Markham. Starring, of course, Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, or the titular character of Iron Man. And I guess my thoughts here, I'm not necessarily reviewing it as a film, although I am, but it's more so a case of what does somebody who's never really got on with Marvel think of this film? Honestly, it's a film of two halves. And I will explain why in a moment. If you are unaware of what this is, well, I'll read the description from IMDb, and this is as follows. After being held captive, captive in an Afghan cave, billionaire engineer Tony Stark creates a unique weaponized suit of armor to fight evil. Now, the only criticism I have for this how do I explain this without going into any spoilery details? Basically, the situation he is in that causes him to create this suit of armour seems it, it seems like there would have been an easier way to get out of that situation. Or they could have he could have created something a little less complicated than a suit of armour to get out of that situation. But with superhero films, you do obviously need to kind of suspend disbelief. So once I pushed past that, it started to get good. Everything up until that point did not interest me. It was visually beautiful, very well shot, very intense, you know, great atmosphere, but that's judging it scene by scene. Collectively, the narrative in the first half, maybe just shy of the first hour, I wasn't engaged. I didn't really like it. I didn't find it compelling. I didn't really care what happened next. But from the point where he begins to try on these suits and you know test them out and experiment with them a bit which is pretty much the halfway mark I began to enjoy it and I found that I became quite engaged in the narrative I was curious to know how he would develop the suit and what bit would come next and then how far would they how far would he be able to take the power in this suit obviously I'm not a, a complete ignorant bleep I am aware of Iron Man as a character and what his basic superpowers are. I kind of knew what to expect, but it was still quite interesting to see the different iterations and the development process behind it. Towards the end, once it got a bit more serious, I kind of lost interest again because it was just action after action. There wasn't really any narrative. There was a narrative, but it was just a whole string of fighting and action and the narrative wasn't really moving forward it was getting quicker but it was staying in the same place i don't know if that makes sense i should also point out i'm not the biggest action film fan i can take them or leave them most of the time did i like my first marvel experience on this journey well actually i'm quite happy that i've watched it because i can now say i watched iron man i can recount the narrative i can tell you what happened I can name some of the characters, and I'm ready to move on to the next one. Is that Iron Man 2? Was there a Marvel film out before that? Um, I will see if I can Google second Marvel film and see what comes up. Um, according to Google, the second Marvel film is... I have absolutely no idea. Uh, the Avengers, is that right? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I will have a look. But I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Now I've got Disney+, Plus. I'm going to check out some more... Iron Man is not necessarily a film that I would watch again. The bits that I enjoyed, I really enjoyed. It's very well shot, very well acted. The special effects are amazing. It's not a perfect film for me, but I can see why a lot of people really like it.